You're watching another supercharged masterclass with Jordan Samuel Fleming. Your opportunity to learn the ins and outs of podio design and development from one of the top podio partners in the world. Hey, it's Jordan Fleming here with another supercharged masterclass. Now, uh, one of the things I want to talk about, um, because it happens all the time in our conversations with new people who are designing and building in podio, uh, or sometimes with you know customers we've been working with, is this notion of workspaces and how many workspaces are too many workspaces and how do I organize my apps inside them. It really kind of goes to a fundamental idea around how you've decided to build your Podio system. And for me, there are some critical mistakes people make uh, a lot of the time. Uh, foremost being having a workspace with way too many apps in them, like just an enormous amount of apps. Problem with that is, of course, uh, as I think I'm going to cover in some other videos, you end up having, you know, 25, 30 apps in a workspace, can't see them all right away. And a lot of the times, a lot of the apps are either not used, not used often, or not used by everybody. In which case, you've got people in the workspaces who have just extraneous apps just sitting there that they have no care about. And it makes training people on the system a lot harder as well. So in this video, I want to dive into the concept of how I believe you should best think about grouping your apps into workspaces. I'm going to do that by diving into Podio right now and showing you a concept um, around workspace, kind of naming, creation, and app organization. Let's dive into Podio. Okay, so uh, here we are in Podio, and um, in some of my other Masterclass videos, I've talked about kind of the ideas behind data um, kind of structuring, how you structure things inside of Podio, and a key part of this is how you structure apps inside of workspaces. Now, I have very firm views on this, and they may be ones you disagree with, in which case you can pop something down in the YouTube comments, and we can have a little fight in YouTube about it. But this is my view on it, and um, I really do believe you should take the house principle, as I've always called it when I train people, which is the notion that your podio organization is your house and the workspaces are like rooms. And so you're going to think about grouping your apps in the same way you think about putting the furniture and appliances into a room, right? You do not put, unless you live in a very small uh, studio flat, you do not put a oven next to a bed, right? You tend to try and make sure that rooms have functions. Your bedroom is your bedroom. You sleep there. You have your clothes there. You've got your bed there. Your kitchen is your kitchen. You have your dishwasher, your fridge, your oven, all those things. Your bathroom is your bathroom. The shower is there. The toilet's there. The sink's there, etc., etc. Hey, are you using Podio to manage your real estate investment business? Wait! <laughs> Click the link to find out why thousands of real estate investment professionals are using Podio Plus smartphone to make more calls, send more text, and close more deals. Click the link. Um, that same kind of methodology, that same concept of grouping and functionality, to me is absolutely vital for good um, workspace and data structure design in Podio. You'll see here that we have um, seven workspaces in this one system. Now, I hear people almost immediately say, seven workspaces, that means I have to jump around seven places. Well, technically that's true, but the truth of the matter is, we group by grouping these things, it means usually that you may not need to look at some of these workspaces. In fact, you may not need to be added to some of these workspaces because in your role in the business, you simply do not need to access that kind of data. For example, this is a, a wholesale real estate system. Um, if you add someone who is uh, a you know sales uh, acquisitions person who's basically job is to chase down leads and, and put properties under contract, they would likely only need to see 01 and 02, the CRM and the transaction manager. They probably would never need to be involved in any of these other workspaces. And 
that's fantastic because again, it means we can focus their minds on the things that matter. And focusing your minds on the things that matter is really how I see the reason why you group apps into workspaces in this same way. You see the name of each of these workspaces here. The CRM, the transaction manager, the configuration, inbound data, cold calling lists. That gives you a good idea of what you will expect to find in those workspaces and why you would go there. Plus, by doing this kind of method, it tends to mean, and it should mean for most time, uh, circumstances, that when you go, for instance, into a workspace, you will have a smaller amount of apps. And that's critical as well. Because um, there's nothing I hate more than seeing a workspace where I have three levels of apps here. And that tends to mean, A, I have apps that I'm not using, or, you know, at all. They're, I tried them and I just never got rid of them. Or B, I've got everybody in this one workspace. I've not spread the functionality out. And that means that when I have a new finance person come in and they only need to worry about these three apps, they've got to wade through the 30 other apps as well. Okay, hands up who's using Podio for real estate and they don't want more leads. Nobody. You want more leads closed? Well, check out Smartphone for Podio, the only phone system fully built for Citrix Podio with an fully integrated power dialer and our amazing mobile apps. It means wherever you are, you can make more calls, log to Podio, send more texts, log to Podio, and close more deals, all logged to your Podio CRM. Click the link, check it out. And that's just, it's sloppy, it leads to bad onboarding, it leads to bad business practice, and it, and it just leads to bad clarity of your data. Whereas in this kind of setup, you've got the things um, allocated into the places you'd expect them. You expect in your CRM to have your companies, your contacts and your communication. Oh, that's what's there. You expect in your configuration system to have the elements needed to configure the Podio system or the options in there. And by grouping things like that, it's going to make everybody's life a lot easier. It's going to make your life easier to onboard new people and it's going to make their life easier. And the argument against it where you're like having to click across workspaces is really only an argument that matters for the first couple months. Because once you use Podio on a day-to-day -day basis for a couple months, you very quickly find that you can maneuver around very, very quickly. And if you're using an extension like Better Super Menu, which I've done a um, supercharged uh, deep dive into, uh, it makes it even easier. So I think this is a really important element of good Podio design, this idea of grouping apps into workspaces around functionality and making sure you have very clearly laid out where to find certain bits of functionality and data in your system. It's a really, really important part that I think is not looked at enough um, when people are designing their systems, certainly when they first start. Agree or disagree? Head over to YouTube and drop a comment. Same goes for if you've got a topic you'd like me to address, pop over there, let me know in the comments if you want to argue with me with something, if you want me to cover a topic on one of these master classes. Just pop down there and let me know. Are you using Podio with CallRail? <laughs> There's a better way. Click the link to find out why hundreds of businesses have moved over to using smartphone, the only phone system built for Podio. Make more calls, send more texts, and close more deals. Click the link. Of course, when you're at YouTube, make sure you hit the subscribe bell to be notified when I upload more videos and go over to your favorite podcast platform and come on, get the supercharged podcast. If you're already there and you're listening to it, give us a like, give us a review, give us a rating. It really does help build up the audience for the channel, for the podcast, and spread the gospel of Podio. Finally, of course, head over to Smartphone. Uh, the links are in the video descriptions and all over the website. If you're using Podio and you're not using Smartphone, you are missing out on the power of having your phone system, your communication fully linked to your business system. Thanks for watching this supercharged masterclass with Jordan Samuel Fleming, CEO of Smartphone. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel to be notified of new podcast episodes, Podio masterclasses, and in-depth Podio extension reviews.